गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स आई एम शिवम सक्सेना योर सोशल साइंस टीचर इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल वी हैव स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज मनी एंड क्रेडिट इट हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम द बुक दैट इज इको इट इज चैप्टर नंबर थर्ड अर्लियर मॉड्यूल्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ द सिस्टम दैट वॉज अर्लियर यूज इन द प्लेस ऑफ मनी आफ्टर वर्ड हाउ द मनी कम इन टू वर्क earlier there was a water system butter system afterwards the system that was being known as a uh, exchange of goods and other things with grains and cattle then the value based money has come and then afterwards authorized money this much we have discussed today we are going to discuss the topic that the deposit with the bank uh, the other forms which uh, people holds money as deposit with the bank theek okay? hai at a points of the time people need some currency and their day to day needs and for instance the work worker who receive their salary at the end of each month has extra cash in the beginning of the month as we all know that in a early time when we get the salary we have a huge amounts of the money in our hand but gradually gradually we simply expand this money and then after at the end of the month this money completely vanish from our hand so in our early times we simply take out the limited money from the bank and just deposit all this kinds of the money into the bank theek okay? hai the bank has introduced a different kinds of the money transmission system that is known as a check and a draft so earlier we discuss about that there was a authorized money which was well known as a note of uh, in the form of the paper notes or in the form of the currency but the bank has introduced a different kinds of the transmission system and they have introduced a type of the checks and the dd that is demand dra- demanded draft there was a very big issue with the money as nobody can say that this is the money of that particular person only if it has been fall out from your hand so you cannot prove that this money is belongs to you only so resolve this kinds of the crimes and the problems the uh, bankers has introduced a different kinds of the transmission that is the transmission by the check the special things that is being introduced with the help of the check is that the money which has been mentioned in the checks can be withdrawn by the name of the person who uh, which is mentioned or you will read uh, you will write this name on the check only in that example uh, which is a screening right now you can see that prem kumar is the name which has written it means this 50000 57000 rupees can be withdrawn by the prem kumar only if this check has been fall away or anywhere it has lost if so nobody else can get this money back so this become more secures in the bottom of the check the special number has been written and this number is generally read by a special device that is known as micr magnetic ink corrector reader this particular digits has been written with a specific ink and that is specific ink being recognized by when this uh, by a device that is micr when this check is kept inside of the micr the micr check all this thing and just find out that check is original or not so the bank is introduce this kinds of the money so that uh, they can make a less crimes and nowadays we are getting a plastic money in the form of the atm cards in the form of the credit cards debit cards we are having the cards in our pockets and the money is in the form of the digits in our accounts only we simply withdraw the money whenever we needs and the rest money is kept in the hand of the bank only what the bank will do with this particular money that we are going to discuss you can take a look of the picture of the different kinds of the cards that is being used with the bank and the bank provide you the card and that card is being used to withdraw the money whenever you need it so in this way you can save your money and uh, in reverse of keeping this money in the bank the bank will also provide some kinds of the interest that is well known as a uh, saving interest or fd that is fixed deposit interest anything else okay now we are going to discuss the next topic that is loan activity of the bank see one things that how the bank get incomes and what are the source of the incomes for the bank let's take a very simple example and just see the picture which has given over there in the one side there are the depositors and the other side is a borrowers what simply the depositors do depositor will go to the bank and deposit their money in the their respective accounts and that particular amounts will be saved in the depositors bank account in the form of the digits only and this money is being provided to the borrower 
in the both slab the depositor will get a less interest for an example you can say suppose that a person has deposit 1 lakh rupees in there in his or her account the bank will provide 4% interest on saving so around 4000 rupees will be provided to that particular person for keeping this 1 lakh rupees in the account on the reverse that bank will provide the loan to another person of the same amount that is 1 lakh and charge a 10% interest rate it means the borrower will provide or will pay the 10000 rupees to the bank as a interest and what the uh, banker or bank will provide to the person who has deposited this money that is 4000 so the subtraction of in this between will be the consider as the income of the bank and is 6000 will be the income of the bank in that particular situation this is the main source of the bank therefore the bank is also providing or giving us uh, interest on the saving account and fixed deposit accounts okay see the two terms of the credits are there we are going to start that things and um, just take a look over there so we discuss this things uh, how the banker i think it is clear ki how the uh, depositor will get benefited to deposit their uh, amounts or deposit their money to the bank and how the bank will get benefited when the particular bank will provide the loan to the particular person and what are exactly the source of the income to the bank this we discuss now we'll move for the next topic that is two different credit situations a large number of the transaction day to day activities involve the credit in some forms of others credit loan reference to an agreements which the lender supply for the borrowers and money or the service in returns for the promise of the further payments let us see the two credit situation dekhiye in this case the first case has been given and this is the case uh, of फेस्टिवल सीजन और सेकेंड जो है वो आपका स्वप्नास प्रॉब्लम है तो देखिए फर्स्ट केस में देखिए यहाँ पे दिया है इट इज़ अ फेस्टिवल सीजन टू मंथ ऑफ फ्रॉम नाव एंड शूज मैनुफैक्चर सलीम हैज रिसीव एन ऑर्डर ऑफ द लार्ज लार्ज ट्रेडर्स इन टाउन्स फॉर थ्री थाउजेंड पेयर्स ऑफ द शूज टू बी डिलीवर्ड इन द मंथ टॉप टाइम टू कम्प्लीट द प्रोडक्शन ऑन टाइम द सलीम हैज़ टू हायर अ फ्यू more workers for stitching and pasting work he has to purchase the raw materials to meet their expenses salim obtained the loan from two sources the first asked for the leather suppliers to supply the leathers now promised to pay him later second he obtained the loan from the cash the okay, two situation the one he has taken the money or he has borrow the things from the person another he has taken a loan from the बैंक तो देखिए दो सोर्स के हम लोग डिस्कस कर रहे हैं द फर्स्ट सोर्स इज फॉर्मल एंड फर्स्ट सोर्स इज इन फॉर्मल एंड द सेकेंड सोर्स इज फॉर्मल ही ऑप्टेन द लोन इन द कैश फ्रॉम द लार्ज ट्रेडर्स एज एडवांस पेमेंट फॉर वन थाउजेंड पेयर्स ऑफ द शूज विद द प्रोमिस टू डिलीवर द होल ऑर्डर बाय द एंड ऑफ द मंथ एट द एंड ऑफ द मंथ द सलीम इज एबल टू